I'm so excited. I was able to find the Uve pretzels at Trader Joe's. So we're gonna jump into this two bag haul. I'm gonna sample things. I spent $121. I'm Natasha with Trader Joe's List. Let's jump into this two bag Trader Joe's haul, including Uve pretzels. I'm Natasha with Trader Joe's List. Please make sure you like and subscribe to my channel and let's jump in to this haul. I have Ube pretzels. These are brand new. Brand spanking new. Which means Ube season is upon us. And Ube season includes the pancake mix, the waffle mix, Ube mochi. I'm very excited about the Ube mochi, but these are the Ube pretzels. Teeny tiny pretzels covered in yogurt can coating. Um, let's see. So you guys, full transparency, I have a gluten allergy. Which means that gluten makes my stomach hurt real bad and I'm a shell of a human if I eat it. Um, that being said, I can solve a little bit and it won't kill me, which means because these are so tiny and cute, look how cute. Look how, oh my goodness. You open this bag and it smells in, incredible. Wow. Oh my goodness. But so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna eat one of these. I'm gonna sacrifice the gluten. Body, please digest this. Don't get mad at me. No, I'll be fine. It's just really like, it's just a, it'll be a discomfort to say the least, okay. Mmm. There it is. So, let me give you this whole experience. When you open the bag, Ube wafts you in the face. When you eat one of these little pretzels, immediately it's just Ube in your mouth, and then you bite down into the pretzel, and that is where the pretzel kind of tries to shine through, and the Ube's like, I don't think so. Not in my house. This is a new bait pretzel, not a pretzel. But you do get a little bit of the sea salt from the pretzel and the crunch. These are absolutely delicious. You can have 10 of them. They're only 130 calories. Um, for those of you that look at those things, wow. Those are good. Those are gonna go very fast at Trader Joe's. Um, I also picked up some strawberries because it's strawberry season. I got organic. There's like these horror stories on TikTok about strawberries. If you never wanna eat a strawberry again, I'd suggest you watch them. If you wanna continue eating strawberries, don't watch them. Strawberries are delicious. You guys, there's microscopic bugs on everything, whatever. Anyways, that being said, I took the precaution and I washed three strawberries, so I'm gonna try these. They smell very strawberry-y, so I'm gonna just... Mmm. Those are good. But I think the Ube pretzel is just like totally changed the way I feel about, like all my taste buds want right now are more Ube pretzels. Mmm. Mmm. The strawberries are very good though. They smell very good. Um, looks like a good batch. When I look at for strawberries, I look to make sure that none of them have mold. They're a certain sort of red consistently, not like splotchy white. These look pretty good, so I got them. Um, you guys, guess what? I read all the comments and I watched some YouTube videos and I think I can finally pronounce these. Shoot, now I'm on the spot. <laughs> Okay. These flowers smell amazing, and I believe they're seasonal, and I picked up them again, but these are hyacinths. Is that good? Hyacinths. I did the practice on, on Google, and it said I, it said sounds good. So these are the hyacinths. They smell so good. The ones I got last week were more purple. I was surprised to see this blue color. I think it's really pretty. And you guys, lilacs. Lilacs are back. These smell heavenly. I'm still laughing over the comments because last week I got lilies and they're like one of my favorite flowers and everyone said they smell like funeral homes and maybe I haven't been to enough funeral homes or the funerals I've gone to don't include beautiful lilies. But now I'm laughing because I'm like, okay, one of my favorite smells is funeral homes. <laughs> but lilacs smell amazing and these are, these are gonna go fast as well because they're just, oh, they smell so good. So these are my two beautiful flowers this week. Make my house smell absolutely wonderful. Um, just some quick things. Cherry tomatoes. Um, this is brand new, guys. You, What's unique about this? What is unique about this? Okay, these are individual jalapenos. Trader Joe's has foregone the containers of jalapenos, and it was just a big basket, and I could just grab a couple. I could grab one. I could grab a hundred. 
so I grabbed four. That means there's one falling around in here. And also the crew member who checked me out gave me a very fun fact. She said that if you buy a jalapeno, you can tell if it's spicy. If it's little stem, if the stem curves, it's a spicy jalapeno. And if it's straight up, it's not spicy. So according to her, all of mine are spicy. Is that true? I don't know. But that's what she told me. I guess I could sample one and find out, but then if it is spicy, it's gonna be an issue on here. Um, this is, I believe, new from Trader Joe's or they rebranded. This was organic red wine vinegar. I did need some more. So I picked up the organic red wine vinegar. I'm not gonna taste it because it's vinegar. And you guys know how vinegar tastes. So red wine vinegar, how to use it. You could do a little bit of olive oil with some red wine vinegar, dip your bread in it. You could add it to salad dressings. Um, there's several uses. Free fried strawberries from a magic spoon in the morning. I should have my new shipment coming because I just finished my last bowl today, which always gives me a little bit of panic, but I have six more boxes coming. Um, I picked up some sweet potatoes. Here is a fun tip for sweet potatoes. Um, what you do is you peel them and then dice them, toss them in, and I've tried it two different ways, olive oil or avocado oil. They actually produce a different flavor. Um, avocado oil seems to get them like a little bit lighter but crispy and the, and the olive oil is a bit richer. But air fry them for like 15 to 20 minutes on 450 and then you have these little bites. If you like prep them, just like do them all at once. That way you have them to add to your meals during the week. But that, that's just a fun tip. Sweet potatoes are a great complex carbohydrate. Um, it takes longer for your body to digest, won't spike your blood sugar, which will keep you awake. And if you're like me and your blood sugar gets spiked, then you have to take a nap. But I love naps, so sometimes it's not a bad thing. I also picked up some skipjack tuna. I did something which I don't think anyone's ever done in a long time. Um, you know like how tuna's expiration date? <laughs> You're always like, wow, that's in the future. I was the other day like, okay, I needed some food and I didn't have a lot of food. So I like went into my tuna stack and I actually had an expired can of tuna. Like I never thought I would reach that day and here it was. So um, that being said, I did not eat the can of tuna, but I did remind myself to pick up tuna. And I like these packets because sometimes I find a can is just too much tuna. Too much tuna in a can and then I have leftover tuna and then leftover tuna. It's not like my favorite leftover. So I like these packets because I can use like one of them is good for a little sandwich. That's my spiel on tuna. Mm, macadamia nuts. This week we're gonna make macadamia nut butter. Yay! I got the dry roasted ones. They're unsalted. So I'm just gonna throw these in the food processor or blender. Um, macadamia nuts have a high fat percentage. So from that, I believe that they will not require any oil and they'll just blend up. They also have a lot of good omegas, whereas almond butter has more of the bad omegas. That's what I made last week. And by bad, I'm just saying like there's unhealthy omegas and healthier omegas. Um, however, almonds have more vitamins and minerals than macadamia nuts. So choose your nut, doesn't matter. Okay, I picked up some garlic and then a shallot. I, you know guys, you, you've probably seen this all over TikTok or Instagram, but people just like, they just cut off the tip of a garlic, they wrap, they wrap it in olive oil, but before they do that, they put a little bit of olive oil, sorry, they wrap it in aluminum foil, and before they do it, they add some olive oil and salt, and then you bake it for like four, uh, 400 degrees for like 20 minutes. And then you take it out, and it's like you pop a pimple. You squeeze it, and the garlic cloves <laughs> shoot out. It is the most satisfying thing in the world, and it tastes good. Um, I, I've been really into doing it lately, and I just like, I have garlic breath all the time, but it's fine because like, I'm not going around anyone. But you guys have to try that if you haven't tried the garlic hack. I picked up some lemons. They're always good on salads or just put it in a glass of water first thing in the morning. It's a good way to start your day. There's the fourth one. There it is. Um, and then I picked up some almond beverage, non-perishable. This probably has three almonds in it total, but that's what I like when I have it in my cereal. Um, and then I want to try this. This is the Trader Joe's lemon and ginger juice. Seltzer water, um, I didn't drink for four weeks alcohol. I drank other things. Uh, just, you know, take a little reset. So I've been really into like making mocktails, but the thing with a lot of mocktails is they have so much sugar, like so much sugar. Like I'm not trying to not drink and then just like inflame my body with all this sugar. Anyways, um, these have zero grams of sugar. And I think this would be fun. I bought like, if you guys want, I can show you some of the non alcohol I've spent probably like $200 on non-alcoholic things. Like, like this is one, this is called Kin, um, but you can make like little cocktails with them. They don't have any 
alcohol, so they're mocktails, but they're like relaxing and they have some like adaptogens and things like that. But anyways, I'm gonna like try and mix this with these, but I wanna try this, cause I like ginger. Ooh, that's good, and this is room temp. What's, and this is room temp, I like that. Lemon and organic ginger juice. And it's flavored with real things, there's no natural flavors. Okay, we're gonna move that. Um, this is a massive cucumber. They actually were selling these in two packs as well. And I was thinking, wow, that's a whole lot of cucumbers. <laughs> I'm just gonna go for the single one. These are good, put them in salads. You can use this if someone breaks into your house. It's good to just whack them on the back of the head. Um, the cucumber, anyways. I uh, pick up some, these are my sparkly, like, cause I haven't been drinking, I like to like be bougie with sparkly water. I like to get this really cold, sip it at night when I'm watching a show, which right now I'm watching, um, it was right there. It is called the, it's on Netflix, um, something of a scandal. Uh, shoot. Oh my gosh, I'm totally having a brain fart right now. Hopefully it comes back. Um, Anatomy of a Scandal. I think that's what it is. It's really good. I started it last night. I think I'm into like, I'm onto the third episode and I'm so excited to watch it tonight. Um, but I include that in my newsletter. So if you guys aren't subscribed to my newsletter, just go to TraderJoesList.com. You'll get a little prompt that'll pop up. You can subscribe to my newsletter and I tell you about like fun shows I'm watching and music and everything Trader Joe's, but okay, now I'm ram rambling, but pick up more Mahi Mahi. I am gonna finish editing a video this week where I'm gonna post how I do my black and Mahi Mahi and I'm actually going to make black and Mahi Mahi tacos or cod tonight. Black and cod too, talk. maybe I'll do black and cod. I haven't tried black and cod, so maybe I'll do that. Uh, mahi Mahi is one of those fishes that are high in mercury, so you don't want to eat this every single day. Um, maybe once a week or twice a week's okay. And then cod is a better alternative if you want an everyday fish, um, because it doesn't have the mercury content found in Mahi Mahi. Fun fact, that was what I googled last week, so I was like, wow, I'm eating a lot of <laughs> Mahi Mahi. Should probably check to make sure that's okay on the mercury levels. Gluten-free cinnamon coffee cake muffins. So I've been buying the the new double dark chocolate ones and those are like incredibly good. However, the thing is I, um, like when do I eat these? That's the thing. I can't eat a, a massive muffin of sugar every day. So I save these for the weekends when I'm going on like my long bike rides. And then I force the people that are going with me to also eat them. That way I get rid of them. I look like a nice person, whereas really it's just like, total self-interest, like just get these out of my house. Um, I do want to try one of these. I haven't had one of these in forever. I do recall they are phenomenal when toasted. And I'm what I'm doing right now is I'm cutting it into eights. Yep, you heard me, eights. Okay, here it is, which is still like a pretty nice size bite. Ooh, I'm actually starving because I haven't had lunch yet, so. Coffee cake muffin. Mmm. Wow. Never gets old. Never gets old. You guys, grab these muffins. What I wish they would do, because I considered this today, I considered buying these and the double chocolate muffins, and then I thought about what it would be like to live in a house with eight muffins that are constantly sucking me into their vortex, and so I thought that wasn't a good idea. Why don't I just get these, call it a day, but what would be nice is if Trader Joe's did like a mixed pack of gluten-free muffins, maybe two chocolate, two coffee cake. That way I didn't have to buy eight muffins. My thinker. These are new, the gluten-free um, cheese ravioli, which I do wanna cook these. I can't. I don't wanna sample it cold, that just wouldn't do them justice. So I'll make these and I'll do like a little update on how these are, but I'm very excited. They do have corn in them, um, which, corn and eggs, which aren't my favorite, like additions, like, Corn is, uh, corn and potato starch, whatever. We'll make it work. Okay, I'm gonna do, and then I also got some radishes, great in salads, and then, I don't know if you guys follow Elise Meyer, she's hilarious, but she makes like these, I don't know, I think she called them something like bland potatoes recipe where she takes a bunch of radishes and just olive oil and spices and air fries them and like, ta-da. And I actually did that with a couple. I had some like rogue radishes in the fridge and I, I tossed them with some potatoes I made and they're actually pretty good. They're not super dense in carbs. Um, so if you're looking for like a cheat and you don't want the carbs to come with like a white potato, you can try roasted radishes. 
Again, it's not gonna be the same flavor. It's like when you get the like ice cream that's not real ice cream, there's a difference. But it's a good alternative. Picked up some broccoli, really like to make blackened broccoli. Um, mochi, strawberry mochi. I, I'm gonna try one of these. I've had them before, but I'm treating myself to pretzels, <laughs> mochi, and, oh, these are just, ooh, mm, you know what? I wanna try it, but it's kinda melty because I should've started with this. And that just wouldn't do the mochi justice. So I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait, but I love strawberry flavored ice cream, especially a really good one. But I'm actually secretly hoping that this turns in, I'm gonna put it in my freezer and I'm hoping it turns into the ube mochi, which should be coming any day. And I'm making that up. I don't know if it's coming or not, but I just remember that they did it last year and if they're making ube pretzels, this might be like the domino that ube, ube is coming. I picked up more of the white tea, sparkling white tea. These are so good with um, pomegranate juice. Only three grams of sugar, which I really appreciate in 10 calories per can. It's a great alternative to have with your lunch. Um, with my tacos tonight, pineapple salsa, I considered making my own salsa, but I also realized how lazy I feel today. So sometimes that's okay. And then I picked up some of this organic hickory smoked turkey breast. A lot of people say like how gross it looks because it kind of looks really processed, which 100% agree. But if you guys look at the Columbus brand, which no hating, it's a great, great flavored turkey, and it looks more shaved, the ingredients in that is, is there's like phosphates and corn syrup solids and things like that, whereas this only has three ingredients, turkey breast water and sea salt. So that's why I buy this, even though it's not like the sexiest looking turkey breast, at the end of the day, it's just gonna, it's just, it's just a preference based off ingredients and it's organic. So that's what I got, $121, really proud of myself. And yeah, you guys have a great week. I will be posting some videos throughout the week, so make sure you check my Instagram page, my reels, and my TikTok. I'm Trader Joe's list on everything, if you guys didn't know that. Um, and the ube pretzels, someone just asked me on Instagram, are they gluten-free? They are not gluten-free, but they sure do taste good. Uh, okay, I will see you guys next week. Thanks for checking this out, and um, feel free to DM me. Send me a DM, a message, I do my best to answer all of them. Bye.